This is um, also our first female. She was, she was beautiful, really cool to work with. Biology intern Haley Beauvais began her search for a female iguana two months ago. Little did she know she was in for what she called some iguana mama drama. It was quite the process because we caught the female, we caught a pregnant female, and she laid about, I think she laid, she laid about four eggs. And I noticed her laying the eggs, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave her. And I left overnight, and when I went back in the morning, she was actually gone, and the four eggs that she had laid had been eaten by ants. And then a day later, we found the nest, and we found the rest of them. So now we're incubating them, so that's what we're working on right now, is getting them into the proper medium. I followed Bove around as she prepared a more permanent habitat for the eggs. Like I said, this is so what is this that you're putting in right now? So this is the okay. pearl egg. Okay. And what does it do? All of our time to do else. Also, just uh, helps retain moisture. Okay. <laughs> well, they continually added water to the mixture of sawdust and perlite until the consistency was just right for the eggs. Then it was time for the transfer from the old habitat to the new one. Bove soon found some of the eggs were moldy. The ones that have mold spots, I'm going to leave separate from the other ones just so that the mold doesn't spread. So I'll probably just transfer these to a smaller bucket or maybe just leave them in here for now. Finally, Bove checked the humidity and put a lid on the habitat where the iguana eggs will remain for the next 90 to 120 days. It'll really be a, um, a tangible sign of our success and sustainability is this conservation effort. Matt's done, Medill News.